Welcome back. This is By the Book, and we're your married relationship coaches. I'm Seth. I'm Sal. And today we're talking about Married at First Sight, Season 16, Episode 7. Going to talk just a little bit about Jasmine and Eris. Mm. <laughs> you hate them. I don't hate them. <laughs> okay, you hate him. I don't hate him. <laughs> Whatever. I just don't think he should have been on the show. No. All right. So... We're at the point in the show where the couples are getting ready to leave the honeymoon. They've had whatever little hiccups they've had in the very beginning. And they're sitting down at the group dinner, um, just kind of talking it out among one another. So, of course, we know Gina posed the question to everybody what they would rate their relationship at this point. Mm -hmm. And it starts off with Jasmine giving the relationship a 7.5 to 8. Yes. Right? Eris follows up. He says 7. Now, in a little confessional, Chris says he thinks that some people are lying. Obviously, he's talking about Eris. Uh So first, I want to ask you, do you think that was a lie the heiress said. And they also jumped to the clip where Eris was saying where he would rate her physically. Yes. Which I feel like is two separate things. His physical attraction to her <clears throat> excuse me, versus where the relationship is as a whole. Yes, they are two separate things, but they both really intertwine with one another. And so it's kind of like you can't be like <laughs> four you think your wife is a four, but the marriage is so great that it's a seven. It just doesn't work that but way. seven Great, it's, right? But it's still and passing. And he said a four or a five. It's still passing. <laughs> I mean, the seven is passing, and that four or five is a big, it's a big flag. It's a, <laughs> it's a big F, a big red F with a circle around it. And so both of those things intertwine. And so yes, Chris was, I think, correct in in in, in making that statement. Okay, I mean, I I don't know. I feel like he might have not wanted to come with a number that was so much lower than hers. Yeah, he was so nice. It could have been that it was a little safe, but I definitely feel like it's fair for him to relate or for him to rate the relationship itself higher than his attraction level to her. If his attraction level to her is a four or five, I don't see there really being anything wrong with him rating the whole relationship of a couple points above. Now, the problem, the only problem I have with that, that's in theory. Mm -hmm. The problem I have with that is that they don't seem to even connect that great. Like, I don't know what's happening off camera. They maybe have some fun together and everything, but it seems like, um, I don't know, maybe some of their conversations are a little off. It could have something to do with what you always bring up, which is the lack of eye contact. Mm. But again, I feel like when they sit side by side, this close to one another, for him, it's just, he's not an eye contact person. I see him avert eye contact with a lot of people he's having conversations with. So I don't think it's just her. Not like it is when when he's with her. He, He does not look at this woman. (laughs) <laughs> and, and 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 I'm just like for this I, I, I've never seen anybody just overtly I'm just not going to look at you I'm going to talk and look away from you the whole time maybe glance at you for a half second and continue to look away from you and this is supposed to be your wife I don't know. well like, I mean I don't know about with spouses but I don't know I feel like I deal with a lot of people Mm-hmm. And I, I've come across a lot of people who have a, a hard time with eye contact. Mm. Uh, he, it doesn't seem like he has that particular <laughs> issue to that degree with other people. I saw when he was when he was having this conversation with Chris mm-hmm. and with Clint. That issue was. He didn't, I want to look that, that over issue. again because he was sitting right next to to Chris mm-hmm. when they were having that conversation. Mm-hmm. Now, we might have to watch that back and just see if he was making more eye contact with him. But I feel like it's something about him when he sits side by side, it's hard for him to engage like this. Mm-hmm. And when he sits across from a person, even Jasmine, mm-hmm. he does a lot more looking up, looking into the face. So mm-hmm. I, I don't know what it is, but I definitely don't feel like they, they just click really well. Mm-hmm. A seven is probably fair. To me, a seven is not very good. Yeah. Um, 
but I think that he's hopeful that something's going to grow. I think he's being nice in those statements. <laughs> uh, just like last week um, when uh, 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 um, uh, Chef, when he was basically telling Kirsten, well, hey, I think um, Eris is just being nice. And she's just like, no, mm-hmm. uh, we're here for a reason, need to be honest or whatever. And I think that was true to a certain degree. I think he's just being nice. Uh, And I think he's also doesn't want to be named out, called out as being the villain. I think he's very conscious that he's on TV and he's very conscious that whatever he says can and will be held against him. And so... (laughs) He probably also don't want his cousin to be right. Uh, She get on everybody's nerves. So... Yeah. Well, his cousin... For the most part, has been right. In, she might in, be, but he don't want her to be right. Yeah. So anyway, Chris follows up with his nosy behind, asking, um, asking Eris if he thinks he can fall in love mm-hmm. with Jasmine. Of course, we know from I think it was the last episode or the episode before that he let Jasmine know he had not been in love before. So that's also a lingering thing with them is her nerves about whether or not he can fall in love with her. Uh, I thought she dealt with it well, mm-hmm. especially here at the dinner, by saying, you know, well, I like that was a hiccup at first, but maybe it's just that he hasn't been with the right woman. I mean, that's the confidence that you kind of need to have in a situation like that, because yeah. otherwise, how do you go on? <laughs> by <laughs> calling it what it is, what's wrong with you? <laughs> No, I mean, this was what's wrong with you? How do you view women? Let's 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 start with there because what I've seen is that he objectifies <laughs> women. He, he, well, he objectifies her. Yeah, he does, and I think it's equal opportunity. I think he objectifies women. Yeah, but it doesn't mean. I mean, we've all known men at different stages in their lives, and at some point, many of them turn of age, mm-hmm. you know, where they used to be this type of guy mm-hmm. and now they want to settle down. They want to get married. They want whatever. Yeah. So I'm not going to rule that out for him just because he's been this type of guy. I just don't want to see him perpetuate that here. You know, I want it to be over. <laughs> and it's hard to know. It's really, he is like confusing to not just Jasmine, but to everybody watching, because we see him jump with her into what's your favorite sexual position to then pull him way back. Like, you know, everything is crazy. I can't believe we're doing this. Yeah, and I'm like, which is it going to be? Yeah. And that statement, that's what, what was reminding me of his cousin. This is crazy. And yeah. I, those were her words. And so, mm, I the, the guy's pushing 40. He's 39 years old. <laughs> He's 39 and three quarters. Yes. <laughs> and, and here it is. Right before he learned that he was going to be on the show, he was already fornicating <laughs> with somebody else. I mean, I'm he's, pretty sure all of them was born to came now. But, I mean, he said, like, <laughs> right as they were telling him, the night before or something like that, he was with another woman. Did you catch him talking about, he may, she may find some, some sex toys? Yeah. Out. Now, yeah. I mean, I think that's just a persona that he wants to put out there. I'm pretty sure he knew well that he there weren't any loose sex toys. He said if she decided around. to open up any drawers or whatever. Oh, I thought he said they would just be out. No, I open. think he said if she decided to open up a, a drawer or two or whatever. Mm, I ain't hear all that. Y'all yeah. let me know what y'all heard. But, it, but I think he likes that a little bit. I think he likes being that guy. You think so? Mm-hmm. I, I mean, because it's not I don't, just slipping out. He's intentionally said that. Yeah, because I don't know no woman that wants to have a used sex toy <laughs> on them. I don't. <laughs> that goes with whoever you were using it on. It just like what you mean on. goes with you send it with you them in the breakup. You, know, <laughs> you take that with you. <laughs> Anyway, to the question that Chris asked about whether or not he can fall in love with her, I thought that his answer was somewhat evasive. He Mm -hmm. did say, um, you know, well, that's what we signed up for 
et cetera. I would have loved for him to be more emphatic and be like, Jasmine is an awesome person. I know we've only been in this process for a week and it is like wild and crazy and exciting. But so far from what I've learned about her, you know, I really enjoy her and I absolutely think it's possible for me to fall in love with her. That's what I would have wanted to hear from him. Yes. I don't think he was capable of that statement. He's not capable because he doesn't feel it. He's And then he's not on that type of emotional level to give that type of statement. Um, I, I'm going to say it again. It, he's about as deep as a puddle. What? His emotional uh, uh, maturity is just not there. Yeah, it's, it's tough. But here's what I like. What I like is that, you know, he had the next day, I guess in the morning... He went, he worked out by himself. I think Jasmine was questioning that maybe like, is he trying to get away from me or whatever? But he expresses that his workout time, his alone time is very important to him. Mm -hmm. But anyway, when he comes back and they have breakfast together, they sit down and have a non-eye contact conversation. Mm -hmm. But at least he's telling her the truth. Mm-hmm. during that conversation and that's what I like he's like telling her this is a conversation that he had where he says you know I'm, I have more of a friendly vibe yeah. with you and I think that's fair to say it may not be what she wants to hear she obviously let it be known in the confessional she ain't trying to be nobody's friend in these streets she's trying to be a wife yeah. I get it but it was something I think that needed to be said I agree because the situation is going to do nothing but become more and more awkward. Yeah. So, you know, I, I'd love to hear you guys chime in on what you think about him delivering that at this time. I think you have to, personally, because she's starting to ask questions. She's starting to wonder. Other people, like Chris, are chiming in mm-hmm. and kind of making the situation a little bit uncomfortable. Okay, it's time for me to address this so that you don't have to be left to your own devices speculating about what's going on. Let me just say, you know, right now, this is where I am. I'm feeling a friend vibe. He said that's not necessarily a bad thing. You know, I, he's <laughs> making it seem like he wants the situation to grow. Yeah, he said give it time. It, it, it needs time. Mm-hmm. Uh, bro, you ain't got that type of time. <laughs> you got eight weeks and you done spent two. So <laughs> you got like another six weeks to get your stuff together. And that's just not enough time for him. You know, he's not feeling her. And yeah. he doesn't know how to go through the steps to build an, an, an emotional connection with her. Because he's never had to before. He's never had to build an emotional uh, connection with anyone. It's always been physical. It's always been sexual. So he is definitely a fish out of water. He doesn't know. He he's, 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 he what do you think him? about, like, <clears throat> he said he's beating himself up. He's been beating himself up because of how he's feeling. Mm-hmm. Like, do you think that's legitimate? Do you think... He... In some regards, he wished okay. that he was different. He wished that he had some skills and some tools uh, to, to to put some things together. And he's maybe, maybe he didn't think that he was as shallow, shallow as 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 he's presented. Mm-hmm. And now he's like, doggone, I'm pretty shallow. He, <laughs> he, he it, it, it could be an eye opener. He, he could be like, am I that? Am, am I that guy? Oh, doggone, I am that guy. He 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 could be coming into some type of self awareness, possibly. I hope he is. Yeah, I mean, if he is, then maybe it's room for growth during the next mm-hmm. seven weeks or whatever. Hey, maybe for the next one, because <laughs> I don't think that's going to be it. <laughs> So, <laughs> when they get back home, when they get to their apartment, mm-hmm. um, I, I don't know how to read this scene. I, you see him kind of, what did he say? He's making executive decisions. Is that yeah. the term he used? Mm-hmm. He's like, these are the drawers I need. This is the side I need. You know, the dog can't sleep in the bed. Um, which take I think sh- is a take really your, take your a shoes good, off. good decision. No dog in the bed. Take your shoes off. Tell your people to take their shoes off. Uh-huh. You know, and Jasmine is like, okay. Um, she doesn't give any pushback. I don't think he asked for anything that was necessarily unreasonable. It's how he did it. Maybe how he did it, yeah. um, especially with the drawers. But I didn't know how to receive him, whether he was 
joking or, you know, he's just that way. Mm-hmm. Well, he said himself when he, when he was getting ready to eat breakfast or lunch, whatever they were doing, and he started to dance. He says, we back. The, 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 the uh, honeymoon is over. And so I, I'm taking that very literally from what that statement is. The honeymoon is over. And so I ain't really feeling you like that anyway. And so guess what? So I'm not even going to listen to you while I'm eating these no. tacos. No, not really. I didn't like that. Now that kind of rubbed me the wrong way. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I was like, she's trying to talk to you. Yeah. Whether you think this is funny or not, it's going to be perceived as rude. Yeah. And she still didn't really put up much objection. She was like, Eris, I'm going to slap you. Yeah. You know, no, it's time to be like, listen, I think that's kind of disrespectful. Yes. I don't feel like you're really regarding me. You're not taking me seriously. You're not listening to me. Mm-hmm. Because I think the less she demands from him, the more he's going to push and, and get away with. True. You know, True. so I don't know, y'all. I'm curious what your <laughs> thoughts are at this point because I don't know how to read him. I don't know if he really wants it. I don't know if he really wants to try or if he's just trying to make it through the rest of these weeks. Yeah, I think he's trying to make it through the rest of the weeks. I think that is his thing at this particular point. He he he, he doesn't want to be labeled the, the villain, like I said before, and he just wants to get through this eight weeks as quickly and as softly as he possibly can. But I don't think he's really opening are open to doing anything further, you know, growing the relationship, trying to get to know her on a on a deeper level. I don't think he's trying to do those things. Yeah. I haven't seen it. Well, we'll see. I mean, let us know you guys' thoughts. Our hopes are dwindling. I know this was one of the couples that I really wanted at the beginning. Did. And I'm, I'm just... We'll see. Maybe they're going to mm-hmm. make a, a big turnaround in the next couple of weeks. <laughs> Pray. Let us know your thoughts, though. (laughs) Drop your comments down below. Like, share, and subscribe, guys. We'll talk to you all soon. Bye.